let us discuss this result. See, in this result, they have said if f is continuous function on a closed interval AB and P is a partition of closed interval AB, then always we have lower sum is less than or equal to upper sum. We are going to prove it. So what we have P is a partition of closed interval AB. So I'm considering P is equal to A is equal to X0, X1, X2 and so on Xn which is equal to B be a partition of closed interval AB. Okay, I will show it here. So this is X0, this is X1, this one is X2 and this will be, okay, so only three partitions I have considered here, okay. So F is a continuous function on closed interval AB. So let me draw any continuous function on closed interval AB. So we have this function and because of this partition region, okay, which is bounded by this curve and this uh, X axis will be divided in n number of parts actually in a diagram it will be divided in three parts but here i have considered n number of partitions so the actual region will be divided in n parts so you know that when we have a partition after that we consider small mi and capital mi so let us consider the same so let small mi is equal to you know the definition it is infimum of f of x such that xi minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to xi right and capital mi is equal to supremum of f of x where xi minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to xi see both of them are true for all i running from 1 to n so that means in each interval we will find the supremum value of function and we denote it as small uh, capital mi and we find the infimum value of a function and we denote it as small mi getting so that means in a first interval we will have a supremum value somewhere that supremum value will be capital m1 so, uh, infimum value will be small m1 for a second interval we will have a supremum value that will be capital m2 infimum value or the least value that will be small m2 in this way we, we can go further so this is our small m and capital mi so clearly small mi is a infimum that is the smallest value and capital mi is a supremum that is the largest value so the smallest value is always less than or equal to largest value so that's why we can write let me write here clearly clearly small mi is less than or equal to capital m and this is true for all i running from 1 to n right so yeah by def uh, this definition of small m and capital m i we can write this one after that what will i do i will multiply both sides by delta x i let me do that so therefore small m i delta x i less than or equal to capital m i delta x i okay and this is again true for all i running from 1 to n so you know that what is delta x in previous videos we have already seen delta xi that means xi minus xi minus 1 getting so that means if you want delta x1 that will be x1 minus x0 delta x2 that means x2 minus x1 so that is delta xi so obviously it is a positive value getting so that's why we are multiplying both sides of this inequality by delta x and we got this one and this is true for all i running from 1 to n so let us say summation of both sides so let me do that. I'm taking summation of both sides. So what will you have? Summation i running from 1 to n small mi delta xi less than or equal to summation i running from 1 to n capital mi delta xi getting. Since it is true for all i know. So if you add then we will have this summation. Do you know this is what? This is nothing but lower sum that means LPF. So therefore we can write implies lpf and this is nothing but upper sum which is upf so therefore i can write this is upf so in this way we showed that that lower sum is always less than or equal to upper sum in this way we proved okay so this result is proved make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye